I'm just getting ready for the gym right now. I just got dressed and it's getting, like I already said before in like my last video, it's getting so bright later now that it's just like dark in the morning, which is kind of sad, but it's okay. I guess we're gonna have to get used to it because in today's video, I kind of wanted to do a little September motivation video. If you are going to school, I know the September scaries can creep in and I used to get them when I went to school because I didn't really like school. Part of me would always be like excited for September to roll around for school, but then part of me would hate it. And so, I mean, if you're not in school, I guess it really doesn't affect you as much, but it's still like a big season change going from like the hot to the fall. And it's so funny because I have been seeing so many TikToks of people like wanting the fall already. And as much as I love the fall, I don't want to rush it because I know it's going to come like before we know it. I love fall, don't get me wrong, and I'm excited for it. But I also don't want the summer to end right now because it feels so short. So let me know what is your stance on that in the comments. If you're excited for summer, if you're excited to go back to school, if you're not excited. I mean, not if you're excited for summer, if you're excited for the fall, obviously. But yeah, I do love the coziness that the fall brings. And then obviously like the holiday season, there's so much to look forward to, so much happiness, so much family time, like Thanksgiving, all of that. But then it's like after that period, it's just like for me, it's just not that good from January onwards until like the spring and summer. So anyways, I am really excited for like all my fall videos that I'm going to do and create for you guys. So that's one exciting thing. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys some motivation for September because I know it could be hard to like get back on the swing of things, get back into your routine if you are going to school or if you're starting something new in September. So yeah, I just feel like it's like the biggest month of the year, one of the biggest months of the year, because it's just, I don't know, I see September as like a fresh new start, because I guess we kind of been ingrained to see it like that, because of school. Anyways, I need to head to the gym. I just got these like new little clips from Ardeans. Ardeans actually has, or Ardeans, not sure how to say it correctly. They actually have really cute claw clips and they're like three, four dollars, and they usually have a sale going on. So I got this cute pink one. I always like misplace or break my claw clip. So it's nice to have like a couple few around. So when I was at Ardeans the other day, I'm like, oh wait, I should pick up a few because there was a sale. So I got this light pink one and how freaking cute is she? But anyways, let's go. This is my little workout cute outfit of the day. Aritzia, Aritzia. I actually got these leggings at their warehouse sale for like 20 bucks. So that's a sleigh. And also this too. I usually would never wear white, but I don't know. I kind of been liking the lighter colors recently. I just would never wear this on my period. So I just finished my period so she can go on. I've been obsessed with this color orange. I don't know if it's because it's kind of like September-ish. Like this to me looks like a September color. Is it just me? Or does is this screaming August slash September to you? Summer to me. Summer, really? Spring, maybe. What? Looks like an Easter egg. What? I, I kind of like see like August vibes with this maybe and it September. Maybe darker orange. Maybe. But that's like coral pink. Pink? Guys, don't listen to Joel because he's colorblind. <laughs> and he's trying to tell me what this looks like. He thinks that this is coral pink. Babe, this is orange. This is <laughs> orange. But I have been obsessed with this color recently. I've just been loving it and gravitating towards it. So anyways, little workout outfit of the day.
I just got home from the gym and of course I had to get myself ready for the day because if I'm gonna have any motivation like I need to get in somewhat of a cute outfit and like get myself ready for the day so I kind of just curled my hair did a bit of makeup like just my everyday routine that is like the ultimate start to giving myself motivation because if I don't get ready for the day then I don't feel that good about myself which leads me not to do as much as I want to do or be as productive and I swear it just makes the biggest difference even if it's like not putting on makeup even if it's just like brushing your hair out combing your eyebrows doing something for yourself that makes you feel good is a game changer and also having a little special bevy a little special morning beverage ticks the cake for me and I swear to god it actually helps me wake up in the morning because it gives me something to look forward to you guys know I don't like having coffee on an empty stomach and so I need something in the morning that I can have that'll keep me energized I have been looking actually for something that can keep me more hydrated and energized throughout the day and for the past month I have actually recently started drinking every single day like I'm not even kidding you I don't think I've missed a day since I got them the peak BT fountain beauty electrolyte youthful skin deep hydration hyaluronic acid ceramides drink and also the sun goddess matcha these two things are the best thing ever so their sun goddess matcha actually contains I think it's called L-theanine it gives me such good sustained energy but without like the crashes the jitter that coffee gives and it doesn't upset my stomach like whatsoever if anything it's actually really really good for your gut and it's not dehydrating like coffee the matcha has so many benefits and then their BT fountain drink it contains hyaluronic acid ceramides and minerals and instead of you drinking water and it not properly hydrating you this helps and allows like the water to genuinely keep you hydrated it helps your body absorb the water more effectively I have dead ass noticed a difference that my skin looks so plump and glowy and I have just been feeling so hydrated they actually call it their beauty electrolyte and I can attest to that because definitely I've noticed a difference in my skin they come in little like packets in the box which is super convenient and I've already almost used them all as you can see because I have been obsessed I'm just gonna make a matcha right now to show you how easy it is I love how this is already portioned out and it's perfect for like taking with you traveling can we just take a second to admire the color of this matcha because it is so good their products are made with the highest quality and the most pure ingredients but it's just the most satisfying thing ever you know <laughs> girl <laughs> she's literally licking the matcha guys like that is crazy such a beautiful slate like look at that green color i also put um the bt fountain in my water this morning it really does help me keep hydrated at the gym it makes the water taste so good so for a limited time you guys can get 20 percent off the radiant skin duo a free rechargeable frother and a glass beaker with my link and that is literally such a good deal so i would hop on that i'm gonna go upstairs drink my matcha do some work and i would just love to say thank you so much to peak sponsoring today's video I'm literally obsessed with them this is today's outfit of the day um i got these pants from aritzia they're super just like flowy and cute and then also this tanks from aritzia as well but i've been wanting to wear these pants now for a while because look at how cute they are like the color is everything with this green matcha like does this not look so cute i'm obsessed these are so comfy and it's just kind of like it's kind of an awkward period right now with what to wear because we're like transitioning into a bit of colder weather so I feel like this is perfect. Bottoms and then a tank. So it's either like either shorts and like a long sleeve or bottoms and a tank for this kind of weather because it's kind of awkward. But anyways, cheers. How cute. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna sit on my computer and do some work and I've actually been looking at some furniture recently and just some stuff to like change my house around a bit because I don't know, I feel like I need to transition to a little bit more classy. A lot of like just like little things in my house that are on display I don't really like anymore. I want my house to look more zimior. I know you guys might be throwing up because that word is so overused now but I just feel like I'm kind of outgrowing some of my choices that i made not like the actual furniture but more so i just want to add some furniture pieces hide some like products that are out because it just makes it look messy especially like my spare bathroom where i do my makeup i definitely want to redo it and i just want to like put all the products away have it just like classy and nice with like not a million products like on display to make it look super tacky i don't know i'm looking at a few pieces right now on wayfair that are really cute and like my aesthetic for like home decor is like modern farmhouse barn style where it's just like warm tones i love wallpaper i love like light wood darker wood is even nice yeah i just feel like what i did to my bathroom is very much so 
what I have outgrown. I have a little plastic shelf in there and it's just like everything is on display which is like not a big deal but like I do want my house to look more elegant now and I feel like since we're probably going to be here for a while in this specific house why not spice it up a bit because I don't know how long we're going to be here. This is exactly what I did in my last apartment because I'm like oh I don't know how long we're here so may as well like not you know do it up to perfection like who cares. I can't think of it that way because we could be here for another year. We could be here for another two years like we never know how long we're going to be here for so I may as well just like make it as best as I can and make use of the space as much as I want um, and not hold myself back just because we're renting and we don't know how long we're going to be here because I've always like thought in my mind like oh since this isn't like we haven't bought this house we're not going to be here for a long time and that's why I put such like temporary fixes on certain things but um yeah going forward I just want to be more elegant with my decor choices and I want to just yeah switch things up a bit and make my house look more mature more classy more older just because I feel like since Joel and I are entering or we're in our mid-20s technically since we're 24 some things in the house just don't match that for me and it's just been like bugging me recently and I've noticed it more recently and so why not elevate things and just act like we're going to be here for a long time because I can always take furniture and stuff that I buy like it's always going to come with me it's not like I am putting money into the actual like house like the rental it's more so just like furniture so that stuff's gonna come with me anyway so I don't know why I'm holding back so much so I can't wait to like you know kind of redecorate my house so I'm gonna be like ordering things within the next couple months and um yeah I'm really excited and I just feel like I need kind of a change and like just a refresh of my space since we have been here for over a year now and you guys know I get bored of things pretty quickly and so I just feel like I need a refresh and a little bit of a redesign and so I'm using Pinterest as like my inspiration and um, yeah I'm excited to bring you guys kind of along the process you guys will see through my vlogs as I get stuff in and what I'm changing so I'm excited but yeah I'm just gonna edit a short form video right now do some work do some emails and then gotta run a couple errands today so that is the current plan it is time for some grocery shopping. I have to lean into more fall, um, September meals. Because I feel like in the summer, everything was very light and airy. And I like to kind of coordinate my meals with the seasons. As weird as that may sound. But it's like in the winter, I'll do more soups. Because it's cozy. In the summer, I'll do more salads. Stuff like that. You know what I mean? I love a good seasonal dinner. In the summer, I just feel like I'm eating so many like light foods. Like fresh fruit. And in the winter, I feel like I'm eating a lot of like homey, um foods and stuff so for this week's dinner I was looking on Pinterest for some inspiration by the way if you ever need a dinner inspiration I would suggest going on Pinterest and literally just typing in easy dinner ideas and Pinterest has like so many good recipes and ideas and food inspo because I feel like when you cook for yourself it's sometimes easy to just make the same meals over and over again and can get really repetitive anyway so this week I'm gonna make shepherd's pie and I'm also gonna do some grilled honey garlic chicken over rice which is pretty hearty and shepherd's pie just screams winter to me because it's a, such a cozy homey meal doing the big three today a meat shop a grocery store and a Costco like that is like a three hour ordeal right here so gonna get this done gonna go in and try to be as quick as I can this is literally I call this the big three grocery shopping one 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 as I check the clock so let's see how long this takes wish me luck please because this takes it out of me so much stimulation let's go shopping let's do a bit of a rapid fire haul i want to show you what i got from costco because we literally spent almost 400 dollars. so first things first organic chicken broth it's just good to have this in the house especially since fall is coming around the corner and i'm gonna be making more soup so it's just nice to be stocked with this got this giant bag of tortilla chips and they're organic i got two no antibiotic grass-fed sausages these are like me and joel's favorites these are their hot smoked maple glazed salmon nuggets 
keeping these in the fridge for a little snack is so nice to have. Then I just got their tail off um, raw shrimps. They're frozen, so it's good for like a last minute dinner if I need something. For organic salted butter. Got some organic raspberries. Got a bundle of their CRV cream. It's two for like $30, which is a really good deal. And you guys already know this is the mail that I use because it's made with avocado oil, so it's so much better for you than all the other mails on the market. I got two just because I needed to stock up. We completely ran out. I got this avocado oil from the same brand as the mayo. This is like my favorite to use for cooking spray. Got a maple syrup, of course. We wanted to try this new coffee. Um, it's by the brand Level Ground. Peru coffee, it's organic, so why not try it? We like to try different ones every time we go. And the packaging is what drew us to it because it's so aesthetic and cute. So excited to try this. Picked up some healthier soap. Good to have this under the sink. And the last one we got literally lasted us a year. So this lasts us so long. This is my first time ever finding Poppy at Costco. I'm pretty sure it just came in town in Canada at the Costco. So go to your local Canadian Costco and see if you could find them. I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna stock the fridge literally right now with them. I have been waiting till they arrived. There's five strawberry lemonade, the orange one, and then the cherry lemonade one. So I haven't tried the chariot so i'm really really excited and this is like monumental so thank you poppy for coming to canada so last thing i got from costco is this columbia fleece you guys and i literally gasped when i saw because how cute is it this is going to be like the perfect fall little pullover sweater to wear like in the mornings to the gym are you kidding i'm in love it was like 35 dollars i think but which is a good deal for columbia stuff and she is such a sleigh oh my gosh i can't wait to wear this and here's just a little overview haul what i got at the grocery store naked soy sauce which is like a healthier soy sauce alternative it's organic got some balsamic glaze tomatoes avocado garlic cheese spinach bananas some canned peas and some canned corn for the shepherd's pie tonight so yeah just a little um run and then we also got some meat as well some ground beef and chicken so that sums up the grocery haul I'm gonna put everything away now like you got to make the mashed potatoes so that's what i'm doing right now and then you just got to cook the beef put the veggies in put the seasoning in and then basically just put it in the oven and that's it so it's pretty easy there's not like a million steps which is nice i love like good hearty good protein healthy easy dinners that is my cup of tea i hope i made enough potatoes i'm just kind of eyeballing this recipe i'm not really following anything specific so i'm just making it off the top of my head but this is your inspo to make shepherd's pie because it's so good like i feel like it's such an underrated dish like it's so easy it's good it's healthy it just got it all shepherd's pies in the oven i'm gonna try the cherry limeade i haven't had a drink in a wine glass in forever now so i am so excited i don't know why i haven't had one in a long time it just makes everything so much better i wonder what it tastes like but i'm sure i'm gonna love it all right cheers let's see mm. oh my gosh that's actually so good this is the exact can and flavor would recommend that is literally so good but i'd recommend putting it in a wine glass guys this elevates absolutely everything i'm gonna take the shepherd's pie out and then i'll show you guys what it looks like but i'm so excited to eat only has like five minutes left just finished dinner a bit ago and i had some chocolate chips for dessert because it's super easy but i weirdly have been watching bridgerton i have never started it before this is my first time ever watching it i've heard it's good like i've heard there's a whole like craze about it and whatever but like i don't know i started to watch it when it first came out and i just couldn't get past the first episode maybe because i wasn't really paying attention and it was just confusing me and then i'm like okay you know what this past weekend i was rotting and i wanted to binge a show 
I was looking for a new show because I finished the new episodes of Emily in Paris, finished Love Island. There was just really nothing for me. So I'm like, why don't I try Bridgerton? Because it was like on like the top list or whatever. And it like sparked my attention. And I literally watched the first season on the weekend. And so I'm on season two now. And it's actually pretty good. Like I flew through the season. I actually really liked it and it's just like a really different show like it's nothing like I've really ever watched because it's like set in like the 1800s and whatever so it's literally nothing like I've ever watched but it's drama there is drama well not that type of drama like you'd have to watch it to show what I'm talking about but it's good it looks like every season is going to be following like a different character in the show so it's like the main characters in season one aren't the main characters in season two if that makes sense because their story kind of ended and i don't know if i like the idea of that because i love like following along the main characters journeys and stuff but it also in a sense is nice how it's like your chapter came to a close and then it's like on to the next i don't know but it's a different type of show i was reading up on it and i think they're books but anyways scrolling on tiktok and i saw this tiktok which i actually could relate to so much because it was like when everything like is going perfect in your life but you still have like the impedimen impedimen oh, i can't say that word impedimen doom when you think like oh things are too good to be true like something bad's gonna happen type of like anxious mindset worrying about like the future and stuff and i actually used to do that when i used to be in situations that was like amazing like when my life was going great everything was going perfect i would always have this like anxious feeling in the back of my mind like okay like what's bad that's gonna happen like what is the next step here things are too good like what's gonna happen that's actually like really not good to have like that is really not good to have because in a way like you're almost manifesting something bad to happen for yourself and i know sometimes like obviously it comes along with anxiety but there has to be like something that's like rooted in that that's why you're feeling that way that's like a trigger from the past or whatever i have gotten a lot better at that that when life is just good i really don't think like that anymore my day to day it's like when things are going perfect if i had a great day something good really amazing happens to me i'm just gonna be like i deserve it that's amazing like i'm not thinking in the back of my head like oh my god when is this all gonna end bad things are gonna happen what if this happens like you know what i mean so something that i kind of outgrew naturally with like adopting my new mindset and when i dove into like spirituality and like energies and everything i just realized how important it is to just like when things are going good in your life to just sit in them and appreciate them and don't wish for anything bad to happen upon you or don't think that anything is going to happen and i know it's hard not to because like i said it could be tied to your anxiety trigger from the past whatever but i feel like that's a common thing that a lot of people can probably relate to because tiktok had like millions of likes and i'm like oh my god like that used to be me yeah i just wanted to kind of talk about that because i used to experience that and that's just manifesting like if you know something's going to happen in the back of your head you're literally manifesting it for yourself so next time you are having a great day or whatever appreciate it sit in the present moment and like let it be that and just allow yourself to feel amazing energy and allow yourself to just sit in whatever that was great happened to you literally nothing's bad bad is about to come like that is so untrue you're just thinking that for no reason and it's kind of also ruining the beauty too like in the present moment that you're so happy about like it's ruining that beauty because you have that in the back of your head and like you're all anxious about it it's just funny that i came across that and i'm like oh my gosh i literally used to think that way i'm actually going to search up like the real i can't find the tiktok now that i try to go back and find it okay it's called impending doom a sense of impending doom is a medical symptom that consists of an intense feeling that something life-threatening or tragic is about to occur despite no apparent danger if you ever like feel that just literally push it to the back of your head like just scoot her back distract yourself and try to just be present because that's like i feel like a lot of the root cause of a lot of our issues in life is that we're not present we're worrying about the past we're worrying about the future but we're not allowing ourselves to just sit in the present moment and that is it no other thoughts about the past or the present what's happening tomorrow what's happening tonight literally enjoying the moment right now and that is it and i know it's so hard to do that but it's so important and i feel like i'm trying and 
aiming to do that better and better every single day and I have not mastered that yet because we're all human. It's really hard to do that. Every single day I try to be as present as possible, but sometimes it is hard. But majority of the time I could say now, like I have gotten a lot better. A lot of the time I'll let my, something that I'm anxious for happening in the future, I'll let that ruin kind of my present days because I'm thinking about it. That just disrupts so many more things, leads to different problems and whatever. So that's why it's just ultimately so important to live in the present and i know i've said this before and whatever but it is truly just like so crucial and can have such a positive impact on your life and when i am primarily focusing in the present i notice i'm like so much happier things are better and so this is your sign to focus on the present be present don't worry about things that are not didn't even happen yet that are not true and I know the quote that's like, oh, the past doesn't exist, the future doesn't exist, the only thing that exists is the present. I know that's so cheesy, but it is so true. We're all learning it every single day. Like I'm learning, every, I'm trying to get better every single day. Just 1% better a day can make the world of a difference. So anyways, enough about that. Um, I actually randomly am going on set tomorrow. My agency texted me like literally just a few hours ago and they were like, hey, we need someone for tomorrow. And I'm assuming they were desperate because they texted me so last minute. Like usually you're supposed to get these call times like days in advance or weeks in advance because I am actually not working on set anymore since I don't need to but I am a union member so I basically told my agency like I'll work time to time with my sister but like I don't I'm not doing it anymore so when they texted me I was like you know what tomorrow I can so I will um, and you know what it's, it's all for the plot everything happens for a reason so I'm like okay I'll go like why not you know and the location is also like not so far away so I'm like it won't be that bad yeah so i'm gonna be working tomorrow i'm a working girl gonna have to drive and clock in so i actually just got my call time let's see 2 p.m oh my god that is pretty late usually i'm on set at like 4 a.m but looks like it's gonna be a nice and short day then so that's nice i'm still gonna get to do my morning routine and then um work later on in the day which that's actually so ideal so anyways i'm gonna get ready for bed um, so I can get in and all cozy because I think it's raining right now. today i would sleep in today i mean i could sleep in that's the thing it's like i don't need to get up at this hour i really don't and that's where the determination the motivation has to kick in and especially going into september i want to be like on my grind on my shit i just want to have like a good routine because i know like it pays off it pays off it's like those small sacrifices in the moment that you do for your future self and this is one of them that like makes me feel so good but like while you're doing it in the midst of it sometimes it could be really hard and challenging but isn't that what life is all about you need to challenge yourself at times you know like if i didn't have a like a set time that i woke up at every day if i just like let my body sleep in until like 9 10 every day then it's like i wouldn't ever feel maybe like i'm challenging myself enough just because i i don't know i feel like waking up and having a routine for me is could be sometimes hard but it like has the biggest payout ever so it's worth it i had like a night full of dreams last night i was literally like dreaming every single second of the night and I woke up like once to go pee and I was like, what the hell? Like, this is so weird. Cause I honestly don't really like dreaming that much cause it just like makes me confused when I wake up. And then I just, I'm questioning like reality, like what happened and what didn't. And it's like always the weirdest dreams, like so crazy. But yeah, I just feel like I don't have a good enough sleep when I dream, but I feel like you do cause you're in like the REM sleep. So anyways, I probably slept fine. I really want to get like an aura ring actually. So I can track my sleeps and track like my movement and everything. Let me know if you guys have the aura ring if you like it. Cause I'm definitely thinking about getting it. I know there's other options like an Apple watch, but I don't honestly, I don't really want to wear that every day. And also like there's this thing called the whoop, 
but like i don't know i like the idea of having a ring because that wouldn't bother bother me and yeah i know it's pretty pricey so let me know how you guys if you have one if you like it um would love to know the feedback anyways i'm just wearing this tank today for the gym i actually thrifted this athletic tank and how cute is it like the little ruching in the middle i love it so much like how did i get so lucky to find this it's so cute and it's actually like really good quality i don't know like what brand it is but she is so cute and that does remind me i do want to go thrifting um for fall so i'll do that in an upcoming video but like this was such a good find and then i'm just wearing my pink biker shorts with it i'm trying to wear biker shorts as much as possible just because of the summer before i switch to leggings so anyways and i'm gonna put my hoodie on right now because it is frigid in the mornings now outside which is crazy because i feel like the temperature dropped like five degree or like 10 degrees now so i need some sort of jacket going out okay let's go to the gym Hey guys, so I am just doing my makeup. I have been obsessed with the Rode blush in the shade Piggy. I just feel like it blends in so nicely to the skin and you can even blend it in with your fingers. I just don't like blending in things um, with my fingers that much because I feel like it just takes forever. So <laughs> brush just makes the process go so much quicker. But I'm just getting ready for set right now because it's currently, I think it's almost 12 or it's like 12 something right now. And I have to leave at one, around 1.30, just before 1.30. I like getting ready earlier for things so that I'm not rushing. And I'd rather like be ready and then be just like editing and then knowing i'm ready and i can just grab and go rather than like rushing the getting ready process because i literally hate rushing the get ready process it gives me so much stress so i'd rather just like be chill get ready when i want to get ready and then just sit around and be ready rather than rush so and i'm just like also just getting ready for the day i'm gonna pack my set bag set doesn't really like when you wear too glowy of makeup because they don't want you to look greasy on camera so i always try to do a more not put like so much highlight on or any highlight it any highlight at all because they don't like dewy they do not like dewy girls so i have to refrain myself from doing like my normal makeup routine okay if you guys don't know who molly may is then um that's okay you can skip this portion but molly may was like really famous contestant on the violin season five and she literally like blew up so big and whatever her and tommy breaking up was such a shock to me and everybody's like saying he cheated and anyways i was just so surprised but she just actually posted her first youtube video back from that whole thing so i'm really excited to watch it and i'm gonna watch it in a second here like while doing my makeup i'm so excited to watch it i knew this girl would make a comeback fast because i feel like she always does i'm hoping that i don't have too big of a day on set since i am not going in until two probably crew call i'm gonna assume is around 6 a.m i get paid for eight hours no matter what like it's my minimum so even if i'm there for like two three hours which has happened before i get paid for a full eight which is like cup of tea amazing i do actually enjoy being on set but sometimes it's just like i don't feel gravitated towards it because every single time you're on set you're most likely going to be like on a new location sometimes like that could be super stressful for me and i just don't like that so that's why i just like ultimately decided to stop and i didn't need to do it but like i said i am doing little things here and there still so but yeah i haven't been worked on set in so long it feels really weird going in but it is a good way to meet people because there's lots of cool people that i've actually made friends with before so it's a good way to meet people because i never get myself out there like i don't have a normal job i don't go in to work anywhere if you're not in school and you don't have like a normal job that you go into it's like where do you socialize right i socialize with myself <laughs> basically all day so it's kind of nice also like just being able to go in even though i'm like when i go on set i don't really like talk to people i just kind of stick to myself unless somebody comes up to me but if i get back too late though i am not going to be waking up early tomorrow so i really hope i really hope that we could get back at a decent time tomorrow i mean tonight I also love showering like after I shower I always get dressed in pajamas it's so funny like I wake up 
go to the gym, shower, and then get dressed back in pajamas. And then I kind of have like a slow morning after that. That's been like my vibe recently. Pajamas are just so cozy. And then like after I'm in my pajamas for a hot minute, and then I'll get ready for the day. You know, it just feels so good to be in cute pajamas and loungewear. I was like debating if I should recurl my hair or not because it just literally fell from yesterday. But I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave it wavy because it's not like anything extravagant today. So if the hairdressers want to do my hair, they can do it. But coming to set, like you need to come as a background actor, you need to come like makeup hair done. And then there is makeup artists and hair stylists on set and they'll like fix you how they want you to be exactly. But you just have to come with like your base done and whatever. But anyways, I'm going to continue getting ready. Watch Molly May's video. And then I will talk to you guys when I'm kind of just like leaving the house um and when i'm ready because i just kind of want to really watch that video so let me know if you are keeping along with her mm -hmm.